The field of geoscience for women is actually pretty encouraging right now in that you're seeing women in all the different disciplines of geoscience. In the American Geophysics Institute, AGI, their workforce data trend is indicating that uh, uh, at the early career stages for women, they're, they're really closing that gender gap. And we're also seeing that in academics, that um, women are now making up 20% of the geoscience faculty. Uh, most of that, though, is at the assistant professor, so it's also at the early career stage. When you get to uh, the higher ages, the, the more senior positions, those are still definitely male-dominated. For any women that are also a member of another minority group, such as racial or ethnicity or sexual orientation or maybe a physical disability, they're in what's called a double bind, and they are definitely still underrepresented in the geoscience workforce. The last 20 years, we've been doing so much STEM outreach. I think it starts with girls, and a lot of that effort to show role models of women doing science, getting the girls involved. Earth science is a natural because it's so accessible. Getting the kids outside, doing field activities, working with them in the labs. I would also say GSA is a real leader in trying to address this situation of the inequities that have continued to, to persist in the sciences and geoscience. Um, GSA has their code of conduct, uh, they have the RISE program, the Respectful Inclusive Scientific Events, and in fact today they have two different workshops on that, one for leaders on how to address inequities and another one for you know what to do if you're in a harassment situation or if you're observing it, how to be an active bystander. And then they supported our PARD today, which is on women rising, removing barriers and achieving parity in the geosciences. What I would like to see for women uh, in the future is that there's no special consideration, <laughs> that we're not seeing any of the inequities. Improvements have made, it used to be worse than that, but we don't want to keep that pace so slow. You know, what can we do to all together be proactive? It's taking men and women together uh, to, to make those changes, to have a diverse workforce.